My name is uh, Myron Taves, and I'm a professor uh, in the department here. Uh, I've been here for 20 years. Uh, got my uh, bachelor's degree and my master's degree in chemistry at Wichita State University many years ago now. Uh, went to the University of Wisconsin at Madison uh, and got a PhD degree in biochemistry and then did uh, three and a half years of postdoctoral work in the pharmacology department at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Pharmacology is the study of how drugs work, the effects of drugs on the body. Uh, to kind of put pharmacology into perspective, uh, a pharmacologist is the sort of uh, researcher who would figure out what kind of a drug we might need to treat uh, a given disease. Uh, a scientist called a medicinal chemist would then synthesize the actual drug. A pharmacologist would again get involved in figuring out how the drug works, uh, the right doses of the drug, uh, characterizing the drug. If it looks promising, then people called pharmaceutical scientists would be involved in developing the drug for giving to humans or to animals in terms of formulation, getting it to the right part of the body, uh, getting it to stay at the right place where its site of action is, where we want it to be, uh, understanding how it gets eliminated and metabolized uh, by the body. Uh, if there were then unexpected or unwanted side effects, a pharmacologist would again come into play to try to understand why the drug was doing some good things and some bad things and what we might do then to try to make a better drug that would have the good effect without the bad effect. So that's sort of what uh, pharmacology uh, is about. Uh, the advantages of uh, pharmacology as a career direction are, are several. Uh, for me, a major advantage was that pharmacology is pretty much as close to medicine and being a medical doctor as you can come without actually being an MD. Pharmacology is kind of at the top uh, of the spectrum and very close to clinical medicine. I knew that I wanted to do something in human health and medicine. Uh, I was smart enough to go to medical school, but I didn't want to be a medical doctor. Uh, and, and so pharmacology has turned out uh, to be great for me for that reason. I can interact a lot and do interact a lot with uh, clinical researchers as well as basic scientists and all of the other uh, disciplines. And, and so that's a really nice thing. Another major advantage, I think, of pharmacology is that uh, a degree in pharmacology gives you pretty direct, uh, easy access into the pharmaceutical industry. So for people who are interested in, a, uh, in an industry job, uh, at a drug company in particular, a degree in pharmacology would be, would be uh, very useful compared to degrees in other basic biomedical science uh, disciplines. My own research actually deals with uh, lung disease. Uh, at the current time, uh, we're, we're in fact working on uh, the mechanisms by which dust from swine confinement facilities, hog barn dust, induces lung disease uh, and working on human airway epithelial cells and culture to try to identify the substances in the dust that uh, lead to lung disease. And so it's been kind of fun for me. I was raised as, uh, as an Oklahoma farm boy. I've got my cap on here, so I was a farm boy and now I'm a pharmacologist. Uh, but I'm studying an agricultural related uh, lung disease, so uh, things have kind of gone full circle for me and it's fun uh, to be back in the realm of doing things that are related to my uh, childhood. One perhaps last thing that, uh, that, that I'd like to talk about a little bit for prospective graduate students in particular uh, is the importance of communication. Uh, I spend a lot of my time teaching graduate students about scientific communication. I run our graduate student journal club where we analyze other people's research papers in great detail, see if they are written well, if the figures show the data properly, uh, if the experiments were done properly, how things could have been done uh, better. Uh, that's very important. I supervise our departmental seminar program where students and postdocs and faculty and visiting scientists come to talk about their work, which is a very important uh, thing that we do. Uh, and I also help teach a course on scientific writing uh, as well. Uh, and I do a lot of uh, editing, uh, reviewing of manuscripts for journals, and a lot of uh, reviewing and evaluating grants for National Institutes of Health and other agencies. So I uh, would, would just encourage uh, students who are good at science, but also good at communication to recognize that the communication skills 
are a, a really important part of what we do, particularly in the academic side of biomedical uh, research.